All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to this bout. We do it in the welterweight division, three by three minute rounds. This one proudly brought to you with thanks to the MMA Fight Store. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner, weighed in officially 77.20 kilos. Travels to us tonight from Perth, trained down at the Lewistro Combat Academy. Brings to the cage a record four fights, three wins, just the one loss. This is Daryl Payne! His opponent standing across in the red corner, weighed in officially 77.25 kilos. From the Gold Coast, trained out of the fight centre, his record two fights for two wins. Make some noise, this is Nate Law! <laughs> Referee, third man in the middle here, Mr. Peter Hickmont. This fight brought to you by MMA Fight Store, now with their convenient Brisbane store open and running. Getting quality equipment has never been easier. Head to mmafightstore.com.au to upgrade your MMA gear right. today. Now we good? Nate, you good? And immediately you can see the difference in stature from both guys. The southpaw is Nate Law, the orthodox fighter Daryl Pale. Oh, and you can just see that background, that Dan Hooker esqueness. No backstep taken from Nate Law and Daryl Pale making no, no misconceptions about what he wants to do. He doesn't want to stand with the striker. Even with the power possible advantage, he wants to get into a grappling exchange and he manages to do that almost immediately. You're almost getting it off Nate Law off balance on fortitude alone. The strikes don't look like much, but when your face is that open, they do at least make you reconsider the position you're in. You see that knee shield from Nate Law, especially when a guy's that big with legs that long. Oh, and he reverses the position and just takes the back like a ghost. He could be under the chin. They're facing away from that. And Daryl Hale just showing fantastic composure. Fights the grips. can be tricky here for Pale to, uh, it, it's tricky for both boys, especially for Nate. When the opponent is standing up, you're on the back, it feels like you're in a good position. But when the opponent is standing almost upright, it, it can actually make it very awkward to return them to their hands, and it makes it awkward to finish them with the choke. Look for Nate to start moving to uh, some sort of a, a power Nelson or some sort of pressure behind the head to get Pale's mm. hands back on the mat. Right, that's fantastic insight. Because at the moment, it's just almost a, a stalemate. Yeah, and I think Pale knows that. The grappling at LCA seems great. I think he knows he's not in too much danger yet. Thumb posting the elbow immediately. Oh, oh, oh. And that explosiveness that we just spoke about. Nate Law getting a taste of it. Tries to shoot him, but at least manages to turn the situation around. Getting Daryl Pale up against the cage. Yeah, that was really nice by Pale, just staying calm. He managed to find his way out, back up against the fence, but much better than having someone on your back. I love this division. It's just the perfect blend of power and athleticism. And at a moment's notice, like we just saw from Daryl Pale, just the ability to explode and turn things around. Both boys working still in here. It's almost like a gentleman's agreement. He's going to hang here for a second, see what we can get off on each other. Immediately going back to work. An interesting round, definitely. Oh, I love that. That's such a dead hooker thing to do. As soon as they grab onto your head, they're going to that tight clinch, just working the body and going up to the head. It was a difficult round to score. They both had their moments, didn't they? But Nate Law looking to get the better of some of it. As we head to our next-gen construction replay, Nate Law just being super composed, using Pale's weight against him. Like we said, took the back, made Pale carry him. Boom, 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 like the Venga boys to the body goes up to the head. And Nate Law smart enough to know when to break.
It's a good feeling out round. Both boys learning a lot about each other. Roll on round number two. Brought to right, us go, by go, MMA go. Fight Store. Tail versus Law in the welterweight division. <laughs> Seeing more of an assertive tail this time, and Law goes up top. Something for him to think about. A big head kick. Oh, and you hear that? It sounded like a baseball bat. Going to the body again on the exact same side as Law. Hale just willing his way in with strikes. Ate a couple just to get into a clinch situation. Yeah, it, lo it looked to me like that head kick from Nate Law did, did a bit of damage. It looked like Pale was a, a little bit wobbled for a moment there. In on the grapple. I agree. Now. I agree. It was almost there was a step there that wasn't entirely voluntary. <laughs> Absolutely. His feet were trying to find the floor, if only momentary. And he's very deep on a takedown here. But with these big guys, when they get that knee shield up, it becomes so hard to crowd their hips. Get your arms locked together and get them down. Yeah, it can be very tiring holding that leg up too. If they put that body weight on you, it's tiring holding that single. Work is the word. Nate Law, oh, and it's so smart of Pale to know when he'd lost it and being able to strike. Nate Law giving back as good as he got, if not better. And just hammers that inside leg kick. The feelers going to the body again. I love that. How composed is Law with the, the power from Pale again going high on that open side. Well timed shot, but Pale was all over it. He's still got that leg, doesn't he, Benny? Sometimes a sprawl is only good for a moment. Yeah, absolutely. It's interesting seeing the the, the taller fighter just take that shot off, off the high kick. Very unorthodox, but it's it's working. He's definitely got Pale thinking about that, that open side head kick. Deep on the legs is Nate Law. Right in the corner of Nate Law. Working, trying to get a takedown. It's almost a spot where both men didn't want to just give up. It's like an argument where no one's winning, but nobody wants to admit it. <laughs> and they make a consensual break there. And Pale still walking forwards. Oh! Law just switching up seamlessly from clinch strikes into open strikes. Yeah, that was a beautiful knee up the center by Law. Oh, and Pale just putting everything into him. A little bit too telegraphed. It's like he's throwing from the floor, trying to get in on the hips again. He does so. It's so much, it's difficult to get a guy down when his hips are taller than you. It's easier to get in on the hips, but then to drag those legs out. Yeah, and it's a, a battle in itself. Absolutely. A great work by Nate Law to pull that, that double, that locked hands up the body, back onto the body lock, making it super hard for Pell to take him down and super exhausting. Two very contentious rounds as we go to our Next Gen Construction replay. Boom, you can see that. And the feet of Pale, not under him for even just a moment, but he recoups. And you're seeing Nate Law, just with the striking background, and that open side kick to the body. He's able to switch it up so well, and again, doubles it up, the knee on the open side with the open side hook. Two contentious rounds in the books as we head into a third. Hale versus Law. Two welterweights leaving absolutely everything out there and mixing it up. From strikes to the clinch to taking it down. We've seen a little bit of everything. And we get a little bit more. Feels like a treat at this point. Oh, you! Turns the head and then goes straight to the body. That's that striking IQ of Nate Law. I'd like to see him set it up just a little bit more. Pale just trying to give back as good as he got. Pale not cutting off Law. He's almost walking, following him around. He needs to step to where Law is going to be if he wants to cut that cage off. 
Yeah, almost setting up that, that kick to the body or the head for Nate. I totally agree. He's gone straight into that side. You can hear his, uh, his corner. The Luistro Combat Academy team telling him to step in. Again! That one was like dead on the neck and the jaw and a tail. I don't know what this guy's made out of. <laughs> I don't think Nate Law knows either. He's staying super composed, but he's hit him with everything except the kitchen sink. Oh, just trading ones to the body there. Hale almost becoming way too complacent. Yeah, he, he, he it almost looks like he's a little bit oh, tired Oh, big now. right hand. Swing very little yeah, you might as well. He might be conserving his energy, just looking for that one big shot. But as he does so, the fight is ticking away. Oh, up top is Law. I'd like to see a little bit more of the hands of Law, but it's very, very difficult to say when you've got a striker. With the explosiveness of Pale walking constantly following you everywhere you go. I like those feints from Law. Pale listening to his corner, cutting him off rather than following. I wouldn't mind seeing a few numbers in a row from either man. Interesting Law shoots there. He was doing a great job keeping Pale at, at, at range with those kicks. He was just picking him apart. He's arguably in front. He might look to keep it that way. Or winning the, the grappling exchange. Another very deep sprawl from Pale. Attacks the neck now of Nate Law. He finds himself turtled up. Nate Law just doing everything to get back up, even... Telling the referee that there's not a lot doing. He looked, he looked unfazed. And Pale just going to work now. Could be too little, too late. Monster! Oh. Just throwing the heat there. And to your point, Jaden Vinny, as soon as the fight has been called, Pale just seems to, seeming to take in a very, very deep breath. An arduous fight for both men. We saw a little bit of everything. Nate Law just showing a lot of that striking, that fight IQ. Took a lot of the positions that Pale wanted away from him. As we go to our next gen constructions replay, you can just see him tearing apart the body. I think it did two things. To your point, I think it slowed Pale down, kicking to the body, kicking to the head, changing things up. And to the second one, it made him a little bit gun shy. And yeah. we saw a lot of that, especially in the third round. The, the first two, very hard to call. But Nate Law definitely having the better moments from what I could tell. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better coaching staff as well for Nate Law. Taller fighter, and he's got Ben Johnston and Dan Hooker in his corner. Absolutely going to know how to use Bonus the weapons Oswald. he's got. Take a hit, son. I was wobbling with a few of them. Right. So you can take a hit. I was wobbling with a few All of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get set to make this one official. Put your hands together for our two fighters, though, here. Another great display of this one. It's brought to you with thanks to the... MMA Fight Store. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges scorecards. And on all three cards, it is 30 to 27, a unanimous decision, and it goes to the red corner, Nate Law. And as expected, Nate Law 